Welcome to our review of Inferno Festival 2023. I'm here with Jamie. Hey, how are you? You flew all the way over from Australia to oh, see this? Sure did, know? and you know what? It was worth every single moment of it. Yeah. What did you think about the venue before we talk about the bands? Honestly, I loved it. I really did. I just love how dark it was. It was a perfect environment for black metal. Yeah. And it wasn't outdoors. And the best thing was it was snowing. Oh, yes. Snowing on the Emperor yeah. Day is perfect. Oh, it was so good. Amazing. Uh, Absolutely we've, amazing. We've been to Bloodstock, the review on our channels. Yep. And we saw some of these bands, like we saw Dark Funeral live there. And the oh. difference between indoors and outdoors is night and day. Like, the outdoors just isn't good for black metal, but indoors, fantastic. And we'll talk about that when we get to the bands in the video. So, <laughs> shall we talk about the um, day? Yes. yes, so um, we kicked off Inferno Festival on Thursday, That's right. and it led all the way to Sunday. I'll tell you what, Questy, I'm absolutely buggered afterwards. Yeah, I, I'm knackered Ooh, after boy. that. But... It was good. Um, the bands usually finished at about 1am, which is crazy for us because we're used to finishing like at 11. Yeah. So that's one... I don't know if it's a negative, but you do get tired after a while, especially when you're used to finishing at 11. Not starting... The headliner started at 11.30. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And Swan <laughs> kept falling asleep. <laughs> You don't tell him that, please. <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep uh, during Emperor. I was so tired! You, you know, you guys gotta gotta um, understand that I travelled... You travelled a long way. All the way from Australia to Norway. He was at the barrier as well. He barrier, was like, yeah. So lucky I did, lucky I did, lucky I was holding the yeah, barrier. didn't slam into anyone with a beer in the hands or be a fight or <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> you know what, it was, it was a great environment. Everyone was, was so great. friendly. Loads of people talking to us, thanks to everyone who came up and said hello. Yes, yeah, and even I got recognised yeah. as well. It was pretty Once. cool. So. But yeah, you got recognised quite a few. Like, yeah, a couple a of times, yeah. yeah. So quite a lot. Thank you to you guys. Yeah. So the venue was cool. Uh, both stages. John D was a bit cramped. It was quite hot now. Yeah, there. John D. We only um, went to John D to see Afsky. Yeah. Which was incredibly heavy. Heavy. I loved it, but uh, it was, uh, I was sweating. Honestly, I can't believe how heavy Afsky was. You think Af Afsky was atmospheric, black metal, quite calm and subtle, but my god, this shit it hit loud. hard. It was loud. It was unbelievable. Yeah. But yeah, we started the um, festival on Thursday. So yeah, the, we started off the festival by watching Storm Ruler in Vatalan on Thursday. In the snow. In the snow. It was snowing here. We had beers. It was Oslo! great. Oslo! It was great. It was great. Yeah, we was in Oslo, weren't we? Yes, it was Oslo. Pretty sure it was Oslo. We're still in Oslo now. I know, yeah. We're in the hotel room. We're just... I know. We're leaving tomorrow without... Oh. But yeah, uh, we saw Storm Ruler and they nailed it. Yeah, it was so good. Amazing. They played um, some of the stuff from the new album and some of the stuff from the older album. The Melodies. Which was perfect. the concept album. Dark Souls concept, I think. Yeah, I, yeah. I loved it. Um, it was so good. It was a great way to kick off the festival. It was about 1 o'clock, 1.30 when we saw them. But then we went to the main stage Rockefeller, in Rockefeller uh, and we saw... What was the first time we so saw? So we saw Nick on at 4.30. They were okay. They were okay. Yeah, black, black I and fresh. It was fun. Yeah. Um, we saw about <coughs> half the set because uh, we got there a little bit, little bit late. But we saw a good chunk of them, and they were fun from what we saw. So yeah, good way to kick off the festival. Um, who was next? Um, we saw Javil. Oh, one of the best of the whole weekend for me. Oh my god, the atmosphere! What an amazing atmospheric black metal band. It was so damn good. Every song was perfect. Like the mood, the whole stage presence. They didn't say a word. They didn't say a word to the crowd. Yeah. So I evil. absolutely love it. Javel was be one of my favorite um, favorite acts of the actual festival. You know. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Javel. Yeah. Dutch Javel. I don't know how to pronounce it. Someone will correct I, me in the comments. I'm pretty sure Aiden said it was Javel. Javel. Well, which means devil. They're a fucking in fantastic. Norwegian. Yes. So. Really? So yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. Next up was Dark Funeral. Dark Funeral was incredible. We saw Dark Funeral Bloodstock um, in August last yep. year, and that, it, it, it was something okay. was missing. It was because it was daylight, wasn't it? Yeah, in the day. Well, mm, yeah, we saw Dark Funeral at night time. Indoors. So much better. So Actually, much better. it was still daylight, but it was indoors yeah. at Rockefeller. And I'll tell you what, what a fantastic... A fantastic act it was. Nail them, them to the cross. To the cross. Oh, so damn good. So good. They had amazing songs. Unchain well. my Secret soul. Secret of the Black Arts. Oh, they played um, the very first song yeah. they ever 
uh, wrote yeah, from, from the EP. And they actually performed the Rockefeller like 30 years ago. Yeah. And they played it. The very it. first song they yeah, did. Yeah, they played it. Which is um, crazy. Yeah. They were great. Dot Funeral, fantastic. So good, we got to move on because of that tree. Yeah. Cannibal Corpse was next. The heaviest band uh, ever. Yeah, this is probably the most heaviest band I've ever seen live. Yeah. It was friggin' crazy. Corpse crying his head back. Actually crazy. Windmilling all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need... Um, if, if you're feeling hot at the front, just his windmills will just keep you cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's literally a fan. <laughs> anyway... We're gonna keep moving. Eleven thirty, Emperor came on. Eleven thirty at night in the Nightside Eclipse. Yeah. So one pet hate Questy with this festival was the headliners starting were really on late. too late. People were yeah. too drunk by this yeah. point. <laughs> Eleven thirty, Emperor started, and it finished at one o'clock. Yeah. Same with every headliner. Yeah. Emperor was the main reason I came to this festival because seeing Emperor in the homeland and. At this time of night, like midnight, and snowing, and snowing, like, Unbelievable. and they played in the nightside eclipse in yeah. full. Perfect, perfect ending to the first night. Okay, so Friday came along and we were absolutely knackered. Our backs were hurting, our feet were hurting, yeah. everything was Head hurting. Cannibal corpse. Ooh. Yes. So at four thirty, we saw Harry Crew for the sky. Yep. We decided to move up the second level because there are three levels at Rockefeller, and we decided to move up the second level, but it was way too loud for it our was liking. pretty loud. Um, yeah, we were right adjacent to the speaker, so it was impre- incredibly loud. I wasn't a big fan of Harry Crew for this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I wasn't a big fan for Harry Crew for the sky. I thought the vocals were quite monotonous. I do enjoy Harry Crew, Harry Crew for the sky. I love Igagora and uh, Trauma and Mia, all great those albums. albums, really good albums, but to me, they don't execute it live, so stick a breadstick up your ass. Anyway, what do you think about Harry Crew for the Sky? I thought it was enjoyable. I can say that on your channel now. I, I think it was enjoyable. It wasn't the best of the weekend, and it wasn't the worst. It was just kind of like, meh. It was, it was good, but yeah, the vocals can kind of get monotonous. Like, it doesn't have those high-pitched shrieks, and it's not quite deaf growls. It's somewhere in the middle, and it's just not... As exciting as some other bands, but it was fine. I thought it was passable, so yeah. It was all right. It was all right. It was all right. We, we had a few beers and everything. It was good. Had a good laugh. It was fine. Got recognized. Odium was next. Oh, oh, they were so good. Yeah, they were fantastic. Absolutely Sad fantastic. Realm of the Stars. And they played mm. a new song, which mm. has been since like, what, Yeah, like, they played a new song as well. 20 years ago. Yeah, so <laughs> that was a great band. Spacey. Spacey. Loved it. Um, Wolves in the Throne Room was next. Yeah. Um, they stuffed up. Yeah. The intro, it was like 11 minutes, the intro. Before it's... even that happened, they were late by 10 minutes. Yeah, they were having minutes. problems with the sound. Yeah, it mm. wasn't, wasn't great. And overall, I feel like Wolves on a Throne Room was easily one of the weakest off of Inferno. For me, it was the worst band of Inferno. I like Wolves on Throne Along with Harry Curry for the Sky. I like Wolves, but yeah, that same. set was not I was pretty great. disappointed in it, so... Um, yeah, let's move on. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan. Um, next up was God Flesh We Saw. I was thoroughly entertained. I I surprised, surprised, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I don't like industrial metal. It's not my scene, but I was yeah. like entranced by the music. Yeah, well, I so, had to find a toilet to have a big juicy poo. Yeah, so his um his vibrations from Godflesh were helping him shit everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. So Godflesh was pretty good. Yep. I enjoyed it. And at eleven thirty, it was amorphous. This is like one of my favorite acts of the festival. That, it was my actual favorite of the whole festival. Weird, you know, it's a black metal festival. That's my favorite genre. Amorphous is my favorite band at the weekend. So it's actually your favorite now. Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah, Amorphous was amazing. Every single song was so oh, good. Like, I loved it. It was reminding me of Opeth, like the lights during um, some of the songs when it was right on him. Yeah. Oh, perfect, every song was heavier. They were a better live band than they are on the album. Screw it, they are. Yep, it was so damn good. And loads of people just didn't go to see them because they're not black metal or whatever, but they're actually fantastic. So, yeah, you missed out. Yeah. You little fuckers missed out on the best set of the fucking weekend. So, fuck you. And fuck you too. Anyway, Saturday came along. Vmod played at 4 30. Just an incredible performance, very spacey. Yes, very spacey. They were so good. The, oh, the atmosphere and presentation just, was amazing. Just incredible band. Easily one of my favourite acts of the 
Yeah, if you liked actual. if you liked Odium, you thought them were spacey. V mod was even more. Yeah, spacey. so if you like Meg Cognitum and bands yeah. like Spectral Law, you're gonna really enjoy V mod, and they absolutely kicked okay. alive. Do love the presence of these guys as well. They look like they're dressing up to a funeral or something. I know it was amazing. Um, the way they dressed, they looked absolutely fantastic. But yeah, V mod was incredible. Yeah, highly so, recommend their album. They've only got one. So go check it out. Yeah, Psychotolis was next, and this was oh, fun. Debut. Fun band. Debut. Yes, more, you could call it Rotten Christ, really. Yeah, it's the Rotten Christ singer, but with his solo album, and it was so fun. Yeah. Tribal melodies, great headbanging stuff. And he was he was having a good time, so. Yep, so I'm um, going to keep this moving. Arctotaurus. 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 Arctotaurus was next. <laughs> Fucking loved it. You, not so much. No, I didn't like it. No. Too weird. It was way too weird. Yeah. He has like a straight jacket on. There's like a jester outfit. It's like yeah. <laughs> you guys um watch the vlog. Um, you'll see Arcturus. But this is where we don't agree. It was so entertaining. Like we nearly agree with nearly everything. Almost everything, but this but one. But not Arcturus. No. If you like something weird and avant garde, yeah, check them out. This is actually a really normal video for us. Yeah, what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> next up, <laughs> next up was Niall. Oh, lashed to the slave stick. So One of the good. Best bands oh, of the weekend. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, the circle pits. The the crowd was going. There's three insane. vocalists actually in Niall. Yeah. Yep. Three vocalists and they all kicked ass. Kicked ass, yeah. Kicked ass. The song lists, great. Yeah. There is no god. Oh my god. But god. Every song was great. I loved it. Black Seas of Vengeance. Ship's kiss. Just a beautiful, easily one of my favorite favorites of the festival and favorites of the night. Same. Next up was Wartane. Yeah. Fire. Fire. Oh my god. Um, I loved it. Stage I, show was. Yeah. Great, but um, honestly, they can get quite monotonous. Um, by the end, because it's so late, we were getting a bit tired. Yeah, I know. Um, it, like headliners were so late in this festival. Absolutely love Inferno Festival. Love the organisation, but headliners are way too late. They kicked ass. We're ten kicked ass. Um, yeah, they were fun. Great I loved the set list. As good well. fire. Good theatrics. Very theatrical. Death Throwing blood. blood all over the crowd. Yeah, Malfatal. So good. Great set list. Great. Swan to the dark. Sworn to the dark! To the dark! Moving on. Okay, so. Oh, we missed Gary. We wanted to see Gary. I wanted to see Gary, yeah. but we wanted to be near for Wattain, so. What are you gonna do? Next to Sunday. Imagine, you imagine if we actually went down to John D and I'd be saw Gary. I'd be like, I'd be so sweating. fucking hot there. I don't like that. To be stage. honest, Gary should have been main stage, because they, they are be a stage. big enough band now. They should be main stage. Yeah. Make them main stage. So, Sunday came along and we saw Urgil. Probably my second favourite band of the whole yeah, weekend. It, no, I think um, this might be my favourite. Oh my god, it was great. It this was, was incredible. Um, if you, and it was on Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. It was satanic, so satanic. as anything. It's black metal. You we got a good dose on Norwegian fucking black metal. We get Urgil, and they were killing it. They had pyrotechnics. It flames really hard. Oh, I tell sick. you what, I absolutely loved it. Blew my Oof. socks off. Blew my dick off. My socks are off. Next up, we. <laughs> see... Um, and then we decided to go down to John D and see Afsky. Oh my god. Um, heavy. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Afsky's friggin' heavy. I tell you. I love Afsky. The new album. <sighs> They were incredible. Loved them. I couldn't see anything for half of it, but it doesn't matter because it's atmospheric black. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. The sound was great. Mm. I loved it. I loved it as well. Great stuff. A band I thought was going to be heavier than Ashley was Ueda. Yeah. Now Ueda came along. Great backdrop. Oh, great backdrop. The theatrics of it was incredible. Oh, mass. You could not. You couldn't see their face. Yeah. These guys were, um, they're anonymous, I think. Am I a little anonymous? Among us. Anonymous. I'm a mushroom. I'm a turkey. Overall, just a terrific performance, <laughs> but I just feel that it was very subtle. It was quite mellow. For me, 
it was like black and roll, like very rock and roll riffs. Yeah, some and um, close to Iron Maiden riffs as well. It was fun. Sounds like Sesame Street or something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was very rock and roll. Um, it was fun. The vocals, amazing. I enjoyed Ueda, but I feel like it was probably the weakest band of that day, of that night. Yes. Yeah, it's still good. I'd still go check them out again, but. We can say that day. And ladies and gentlemen, lastly, we saw a bar. <laughs> oh my god. Look, his brain cells have just I loved melted it. out of his asshole. I, I absolutely loved it. Oh, oh. it I thought so it was going to be a train wreck. I thought, yeah, it, was I thought it was going to come late. I thought it was going to be really bad. Bad, but no, he slayed. Mm. Probably the best. One of the best of the weekend. I <clears throat> when he when he shot the fire yeah, during fire. Harvest, fire, uh, Harvest, Harvest Pyre. Harvest Pyre, yeah. <clears throat> Winterbane, they played some cover songs from I. Mm. Oh, so so good, so good. Um, and that to us was the headliner of Inferno. Yeah, um, we were really tired after four days of yeah. So metal we didn't want to see it, um, Elder. We do like Elder, but it was too it was late. way too late. And plus, I fell asleep. He fell asleep straight away. He fell asleep, fell asleep at midnight. Yeah. We just had Very hot dogs tired. instead. Very good festival. Very good. Great venue. <laughs> great bands. Great people. Everyone was welcoming. There was cool like merch stalls. There was like elk burgers up top. Yeah. There was so many like famous yeah. people walking around. Great stuff. And you when you when you when you wanted a smoke, you could have a smoke. And... Yeah, there's smoking areas, bars yeah. everywhere. Everywhere I looked there was a bar. Yeah. So there's tables you can even sit down and watch it. It's it's a great. Festival. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'd give it a nine out of ten. Festival uh, points. Honestly, it's points. <laughs> it's probably my favorite festival I think I've so. ever been. I think it's my and favorite. just to share it with you as well, it's like, yeah, it was the greatest festival I've been to. So I'm yeah. definitely gonna go again. Inferno 2023 kicked ass. Let's come on. Let's go to 2024. Yeah, hopefully 2024 is even better. Let's see some crazy lineups. I can't wait to see it again. Hopefully you guys had fun with it. He definitely did. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. <laughs> um, yeah. Any closing thoughts? Um, I absolutely loved it. I'm going to give it a 9.5. It's my well, I'll give it a 10. My, well, oh, um, yeah. Um, 9.5. Okay, 9.5. Well, well, I'll go 9.7.5. Okay, do you want to up, <laughs> up me? Okay. Uh, yeah, Whenever you go, I'm going higher. He's got a channel. I'll link it in the description. Discovery Metal Legion. Go check him out. Yeah, check out the vlogs as well. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys have had fun with this little review. Uh, go check out Jamie's channel. Yeah, Discovery Metal Legion. Discovery Metal Legion. Yes. Hopefully you had fun at Inferno Festival. And you'll, we'll see you again next year, hopefully. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.